I had to hire my master electrician here. He's gonna, you gonna rip the ballast out of this, or cut them, or bypass them, or uh, what? Yeah, we'll probably just bypass them. Okay. Unless you want one of them taken out. Nah. But yeah, we'll just bypass them, and uh, if I ever need one, I know where we're at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, tubes. I'm over here at Engine Night. Got Road King here. Hey. Got my dad over there. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you might have seen on his channel, he just did some LED conversions on some of his lights up here. The neat thing about them is you can actually leave the ballast in place. You don't really need to bypass it if you don't want to. But the problem with that is is then you end up getting into a scenario where you're not really saving anything because you got the ballast still running in there so you're still using the, uh, the same amount of power maybe even more. So uh, Road Kings wants me to uh, take care of that for him. We're going to bypass the uh, the ballast and the one that he already did. So uh, I figured I'd show you how we do it. So stand by here. You want to plug this thing yet buddy? <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Wow. There's the brains of the operation here. So that's that's your ballast there, obviously. It's hot. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, Christ, has been running for the last couple hours. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to get that hot. Yeah. It's funny to hold. Oh, you know what? It's right next to the heater, too. Yeah. The, uh, the conversion here is real simple. Uh, all we got to do here is totally bypass the, uh, the ballast itself. So the ballast has two wires going in and three wires coming out. So we're gonna, first we're going to cut all the wires off the ballast. I don't know why, but for some reason when they make these, they leave a whole bunch of extra wire in here. I, I don't know why, but it's actually a good thing because it means we don't really have to add anything extra. But what you got going on here is, is, is every light will be different. Some of them will have, have more wires or fewer wires going to each side. But you have wires going to one side and you have wires going to the other side. In this particular case, uh, you have the one red wire that goes to the one side and you have two blue wires that goes to the other side. But like I said, it doesn't really matter. All you need to do is connect one side to your to your neutral power lead that coming in and the other side to your hot power lead and that's it. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to strip these and we'll, we'll connect the red one to one of them and we'll put the two blue ones together, hook them to the other one. That's pretty much it. Alright, we got our, uh, our bypass taking place here. Just in case I wasn't clear, your power coming in are these black and these white wires. Probably be the, probably always be black and white. That, that's pretty standard for AC power. Uh, but then all we did is, as you can see, I, I took one side. doesn't matter which side when you're dealing with AC. Uh, but I took one side, hooked it up to the two wires that are going to that side. Took the other side, the black wire, hooked it to the red wire, which goes over to that side. Like I say, it'll vary. I did another one of these lights, and it had like four, four. Uh, it had like two for each socket, so there were four wires total. So I had to, I had to bundle four wires together and then hook them to the white one. But the principle is the same. All right, so I got Roking uh, setting up a bulb here, and uh, what we, we actually have to do is we got to rotate the sockets because if we put them in the way they are, what ends up happening is you got the two bulbs facing each other. This is this is actually the back of the bulb right here. It's kind of hard to see with all the color, but this is actually aluminum on the back, and you got the glass. The LEDs are on this side, so what you have is, is the two two LEDs end up facing each other. And obviously, you want them you want them to be pointing both pointing downwards like that. So like think, this. Yeah, exactly. This way. You just got you just got to rotate them 90 degrees. So, Bro King is going to show you how to do that. All right, I guess I'll do this one over here, buddy. All right. I'm lucky because all you have to do is uh, pull this out. I don't know if you can see it, but there's an indexing pin right here, and that's what keeps it. Yep. That goes to here and here, and that's what keeps it vertical. What's it got lined up with? There's a pin on the, so uh, pin on the right here. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So what you got to do is get that out of the way. I'm surprised I don't have another indexing pin for those that want to put these wires on instead of vertical. I guess when they made them, there wasn't really any reason to. No. And then it just pops back in there. There you go. Yep. Pretty easy. Yep. If you know, you don't. <laughs> All right. Brooke is going to get us a new bulb here. He's got a whole box of them. We got it. We got enough to do the whole shop here. Where'd you get those things? Amazon? Amazon.com. Huh. <laughs> what, they, what, do you, what do they go for a bulb? Or you get you get a better you know, deal? No, it depends on when you when you check into it. You know, yeah. I've seen them for like uh, eight eighty a bulb, and then then nine fifty a bulb, and everything. So it's yeah, it varies, but they're about eight fifty to nine fifty a piece. Yeah, it's not too bad. No, not at all. You know, you get for under hundred bucks, you can do uh, five lights. Yeah, right. Hmm. All right, let's get them in there. Well, we're gonna we're gonna test them. Or are you gonna put the reflector? Uh, 
I, I have faith in you. Let's just put the reflector on. All right. We just put our backing plate back on there. You really don't need to with these lights because they got that aluminum on the back. They only they only admit light in the one direction, but it looks a lot better with those things on there. So. Ready for the smoke test, buddy? Yeah, buddy. You ready? Hey. Stand back. Stand back. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Instantaneous. I like that. Boom, That's right. in. They're on. That's right. Yeah, they're bright. Look at that. And you can really hit them and do all kinds of stuff. Yeah, you won't blow them up or yeah, anything. Yeah, you won't be smashing them on your head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's hang it back up. All right. All right. Get the guys put more, hanging it back up. Be careful over here. It's kind of dark. <laughs> There you go. Let there be light. All right, well, I think it's uh, for tonight. That's good enough, buddy, because it's getting late. We still got two more to do, but uh, we got to stand on top of the Chevy and stuff like that. So uh, that's yeah. going to wait till next week. Yep. Well, thanks a lot, buddy. That's, I didn't want to do that. That's why I bought these lights. But yeah. uh, I appreciate you doing that for me. Yeah, no problem, buddy. You need light. Yes, you do. All right, what do you say? Enough of this. All right, enough of this. Enough of this. See right, you. Later. There you go. <laughs> All right.